Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Ireland at the West Cork Distillery with a cask finish new series. This is not rare and exotic, but I'm the first one to do a video and therefore that's my requirement. So I've already done the West Cork Virgin Oak cask finish. A lot of oaky in there. Not my thing. The um, port cask, wonderful nose. The finish was not my thing. Over here we have today the sherry, which I'm going to talk about, and later on the rum, as well as the caldos. So, West Cork. West Cork is a brand new distillery in Ireland way, way back when. We had only basically three, two distilleries. We had the Middleton, and we had the Bushmills, and then in the 1990s, um, John Teeling decided to actually buy old potato um, alcohol producing um, factory and converted into a whiskey factory, which was therefore called Cooley. In the meanwhile, we now have our 31 active and distilling distilleries at the moment in Ireland. I visited 14 of them already. I'm going to visit another 14 here in the um, end of March and beginning of April of 2020. And so I will hopefully be up to speed on the Irish whiskey market. Now, I haven't visited them yet, but I will be there, and I would hope to meet John O'Connell, the mastermind, the genius, and the mad scientist behind West Cork Distilling. He has a PhD in food chemistry, a very, very knowledgeable man about whiskey. Together with his partners, Dennis and Gear um, McCarthy, in 2003, they started West Cork Distillers. They make gin, and as I incorrectly said the last time, they make vodka. Um, up to 4 million liters of pure alcohol a year, which is amazing. Um, about the size of Glen Fackless. <laughs> and um, they uh, produce up to 700,000 bottles a week. A lot of it goes to Lidl, so it's supermarket whiskey. Or supermarket spirits with their gin and with their vodka. Now, this is special because it's finally their own juice. It's non-chilled filtered, yay. It's not, no color added, yay. And it's 43%, yay. So this is whiskey base number 147834, runs around 25, 26 euros over here. I have no idea what the price will be in the States or UK or Australia for that matter. Now, I do have a little bit of a bone to pick, to be honest, because this says sherry. And when I nose it, I get absolutely zero sherry. And when I compare it to, for example, our um, port cask, you can see a difference in colors. Now, port should not be the most, the darkest of them. Um, I don't see any sherry influence whatsoever in this whiskey. Now, if I remember, I have sherry bombs um, from Glendronach, for example. There are dark whiskeys. This is the opposite. This is so light. Hmm, what happened? Now, it does say on the back of the bottle here, single malt Irish whiskey. Very, very good. Um, doctor, uh, yeah, doctor, you can actually call him a doctor, PhD, John O'Connell. He produced something actually called here the, um, oops. So I want to, it's called the, is it called the Munster? What was it called here? It's called the Rocket. He produced his own little, um, copper still called the rocket and he can actually um, distill a thousand liters of a mash in seven minutes. So we're not talking about the nice, soft, slow distillation process that many people all over the world um, hold high, but rather he says efficiency, quickness. And I think I'm getting a little bit of that harshness, harshness on my palate sometimes here. All right, very, very interesting. Um, <clears throat> let's smell. <sighs> Malty. A little bit of a um, lactose acid is in there. Mm. Milk, sour milk moment. And very, very woody, very green woody. But the thing I just don't get is I don't get any sherry at all. Nothing. So I really have to ask myself. We always see a finished in bodega, barren ca sherry casks, non-chilled filtered and no color added. Um, sherry cask finish. How long did it see the barrels? How often were the barrels used before? Um, if I look at Glen Fackless, even 105 and so on, where it's third and fourth filled casks than there, it's much, much, much dark, more dark 
darker than this. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I love the mouthfeel of all the different um, bottles I've had so far. That non-chilled filter, that oiliness, that viscosity really comes through. Excellent job. Well done. There's a good vanilla moment as well. But that green wood, um, that green... The green barley actually is if it's not it's like a like a green apple that's not ripe it's like a green plum that's not ripe. it's very very green and this just is just doesn't tickle my <laughs> tickle my fancy at all um not a bad whiskey not a great whiskey i'm gonna give it a c as a value um, as a, as a taste and um, it's not wow but it's not um that bad either and what really 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 disappointed me was if i buy a whiskey that says sherry cask I want to taste the sherry. At least I'd like to taste the Fino or the Pedro Jimenez or the Ololoso or any other type of sherry, which we don't know what it was. Um, <clears throat> that just really, really disappoints, and so I'm going to give it a C- minus for the value for money. Um, the best tasting of the three so far, um, the Virgin Oak got a, as I mentioned before, more of a C minus minus. I'm uh, not a C minus. The port got a C minus minus. I really didn't like that that much. Um, but this is an okay whiskey, but it's just lacking. It's lacking the sherry. It's lacking the depth. It's lacking the um, intensity of a good single malt Irish whiskey. Another three years in the cask might be excellent. I hope they do have enough products set aside for that. I'm sure they do. They're producing at a very fast rate. They're using the right products. They're doing the right things. Just a little bit of the young side. I can't wait um, to see the stuff in a few years from now. Good. My question of the day is, what Irish whiskey do you know that has been finished with sherry? Hmm. Or I'm going to expand the question, what Irish whiskey is also matured in sherry? Hmm. My favorite sherry cask matured whiskey is the Irishman 17-year-old single cask sherry. Oh to die for. That stuff is so good. Now imagine this for 17 years in a first fill sherry cask. Ooh. But I guess we're going to wait, have to wait another 13 or so years for that. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. I've had the privilege now of tasting three of the five different um, Expressions of the new cask finish bottling series from West Cork. I'm looking forward to the last two. All the best. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.